What is up? This is Baxter over at carwashcountry.com. Just wanted to make a quick video today about compressors. So if you're in the market for a compressor or just wondering, you know, how can I use compressed air for my detailing business? Just want to give you a few tips. Um, so number one, you know, what's it used for? Most people use compressed air, I would say, just to clean out the interior. Um, in areas where they can't reach it with a vacuum or by hand, or even if you use brushes or something like that, you're always going to have dust in you know, nooks and crannies and cup holders and things like that. Where compressed air just does a good job of just getting rid of all of that. I've seen people use compressed air in door jams, even under the hood, to sort of clean off the engine. Um, you know, just a ton of use cases for compressed air. But that's mainly the, the main one, is just to get rid of dirt and debris. But the second one is to power cleaning guns. So if you've heard of the Tornador, this is probably the most common one that I see. Um, it's probably this big, it's got a trigger on it, and it actually you know, puts out compressed air and steam to clean the surface of whatever you're, you're cleaning. So whether it be carpet or seats or the trunk or whatever, uh, it does a good job at removing stains but it does require an air compressor, so that's you know a great investment if you're thinking about actually getting into cleaning and not just you know you know wiping down surfaces. But one thing to keep in mind with tanks, so you've got a few options. One is the pancake compressor. This is the I'd say the the lower tier of compressors. These are anywhere from probably five to six gallons, probably around a hundred bucks a piece. And they're not quite powerful enough to power a, a cleaning gun. So cleaning guns require usually anywhere from like five to seven CFM, which is cubic feet per minute. And that's basically a, a, a rating for airflow. Most of these pancake compressors um, are just going to recycle so many times that you're not gonna be able to use the Tornador more than just a few seconds with these before it it recycles and that really can, can burn the motor out over time. So definitely pick up a larger tank that's rated, you know, anywhere from five to six CFM um, at 90 PSI is usually the, the rating there. But just make sure you check, uh, whatever tool you're using, just check the, the rating on it. But usually around 20 gallons is what I would recommend. Um, anywhere from 15 to 20 is probably, probably good as long as it's capable of that. And then you may even want to go larger, like a 30 gallon tank. Um, I probably wouldn't go like too large just because they can get pretty big and they're, they can be kind of hard to store if you're in a trailer or a van. So just keep that in mind. Um, but I've actually got a buyer's guide for a few that I, I reviewed. So I will link that up in the description. You can take a look at that. But uh, one brand that stood out to me was Industrial Air. Um, you know, they make a couple of 20 and 30 gallon tanks that are really affordable. They have great reviews um, and they're really all you need for powering cleaning guns. Um, like I said, if you're not planning on using cleaning guns, you're just planning on using the, the compressed air itself, you're probably okay with just a pancake compressor, but um, there are a few other brands to really uh, look out for if you are planning on buying a larger tank. And one of those is California Air Tools. Um, they actually make you know, a pretty quiet, pretty quiet line of compressors. They're all pretty loud, but these are on the quiet side. Um, then you have DeWalt, you have Makita. There's a few other brands to, uh, to keep in mind as well. So I'll leave it at that. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, just drop a comment. We'd love to, to hear any feedback you guys have. If you've used compressors or compressed air, uh, just leave a comment. Let us know what's worked for you. But until next time, we will see you later. Have a great day.